Hello everybody, welcome to the Creative Arena. Today's tutorial is going to be brief. I just came, I recently came across this wonderful website on the internet, and per my research, the website hasn't been in existence for a very long time. So, what caught my attention to this website is that though they provide multiple functions, two out of these functions caught my attention. I decided to make this video because I think it's going to be helpful to a lot of us out there. One of which is with this particular website, you can be able to translate any code be it complex or simple into a simple and plain english language what am i saying let's say you have a code that is written in javascript with this particular website you can be able to translate that code to plain english language to understand to better understand the code and what it stands for or what it functions as also the not second function this website provides that got my attention is with this particular website you can be able to convert from one programming language to another programming language that is if you have a code that is written in python and you like to see what it looks like in go programming language then with this code you can easily achieve that you can also convert from javascript to python python to ruby ruby to javascript and so on so without wasting much of your time let's dive in and see how it works so when you come to the website, now this is where you create an account for free. If you already have an account, you just sign in. I already have an account, so I'm just going to click on this dashboard to get to my dashboard. So this is my dashboard. This is what my dashboard looks like. And at the right left corner here, you see the, the, the functions. The first here is the explain code, and then you have other functions such as ask questions, doc string writer, time complexity, and then the language translator. So these are the two functions that caught my attention, this explain code and then this language translator. So let's see how they work in real life. Now when you click on this explain code, at the top here you see where to select your programming language, whatever the language you want to be ex the code to be explained to you in plain English language. This is where you put you select the language. So I have a code written down in PHP that I would like for us to uh, explain in English language. So I'm going to select PHP. I'm going to select PHP, then I've gone down to my uh, Atom. This is my Atom code editor and this is the PHP code. So I'm just going to copy this code and then I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to click on explain and allow for it to load for a couple of for a minute or, so, or less. And then we'll see the explanation. So as you can see, this is the plain English language of this particular code here. This is what it means in English language. So for the benefit of those that do not understand this code, with this particular tool, you can be able to have an idea of what this code performs or the function this particular code is written to perform. We can also do the same for a code written in JavaScript. I head back to my Atom uh, code editor. This is a JavaScript code function that I'd like to show you. Okay, now we'll highlight this and then we'll paste our javascript code and then we'll come here we we'll select the code we've pasted which is a javascript and then we we'll just click on explain as you can see all this code this is a plain text explain and simple english language explanation of this code isn't this wonderful now the second feature that caught my attention is this particular feature the language translator what this translator does is that it translates from one programming language to another programming language let's say you have a code that is written in javascript like this particular code that is written in javascript and you like to see what it looks like in let's say python or ruby let's say let's see what it looks like in ruby we translate it and then we allow for a few minutes and then it will show us this is the code in Ruby. So there are other functions on the website that you can try on your own, such as the ask questions, the doc screenwriter, the time complexity. These are also wonderful functions that you can try on your own and see how they work. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. 
If this is your first time on our channel, please remember to hit the like button and also subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified first whenever I upload a new video. See you in our next video. Thank you. Bye.